Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon. We are continuing to mark Pride Month, and this weekend, the city of Chesapeake is showing its support to the LGBTQ community with a really fun event. Here to tell us more about it, we have Jeremy Rodden and Amber Bomer, and we thank you both for being here. Excited to talk about Pride in the Peak, second year. We were talking about this during the commercial break. Uh, let's talk first about what's going to be different this year for folks that attended last year. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for having us. So this year is going to be even bigger and better. Mm -hmm. We've moved to Chesapeake City Park. We're going to have over 60 vendors and community organizations coming out to help show our community um, how inclusive and welcoming we are. It is family and youth oriented, so no adult themes, no alcohol. We're also gonna have um, uh, live performances by two separate bands and food trucks, um, as well as some free activities for kids that are gonna be in attendance. Yeah, a whole lot to do for, on, on Sunday for sure yes, at the absolutely. park. Yes, absolutely. Now, okay, I have to ask you, Jeremy, your favorite thing from last year that's returning this year? Um, I think what was so great last year, we had so many um, community partners and organizations. Yeah. We didn't have vendors last year, but we had city organizations, nonprofits, and we wanted to keep that from last year and just expand on it. So we have um, about 30 different community organizations, many from the city of Chesapeake, uh, sharing resources with families, some LGBT related, um, you know, suicide prevention, mental health organizations that are all gonna be in there mixed in with our vendors so that we should have something that can share resources for anybody regardless of where they are, places like Four Kids who offer homelessness resources in the city, um, the ACLU and a whole bunch of other different places that, uh, so we're hoping that people will be able to take not just items and things and experiences from it, but also resources that they can take home and apply and help their families and help the community overall. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask next, to be honest with you, is just the value of this event, because it is gonna be a lot of fun, but there are so many opportunities to really take something to help you and your family from this event, and that's the reason why people should come out and support. Absolutely, yeah. we know for sure that uh, having that ability to be seen and heard and accepted yeah. can help to reduce the rate of suicidality um, within this, this very vulnerable population. Okay. So the fact that we have had such a welcoming outpour from throughout Chesapeake mm -hmm. has, has really warmed our hearts. And even though this is just our second year, we're even bigger and better and we're so excited and it really keeps us going. Very excited about this for sure. Give us the website one more time for people that need more information. Sure, it's just, it's really simple. It's Pride <laughs> in the Peak. Fantastic. Is that, is that Facebook as yes, well? Yes, it mm -hmm. comes up on Facebook. Okay, yep. great. It's on Facebook and no charges or anything that nope. you don't have to worry about? Free to the public? It is free to the public and in addition is a lot of our activities are free. Face painting, um, tinsel hair, um, some other children's activities for you know even our youngest attendees. Um, yeah, you can come out and not spend any money and have a perfectly good day. Awesome. Come out, enjoy yourself. Yes. And dogs are welcome too. Oh. Well, there you go. I mean, what more do you need, ladies and gentlemen? Pride in the Peak on Sunday from 12 to 5 at Chesapeake City Park. Jeremy, Amber, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back.